Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here today. On this week's episode of my Yorga food tours, we're gonna be checking out a restaurant that I really, really love. It has some of my favorite type of food in all the world. I'm not gonna say what it is just yet because you know, you gotta keep the suspense alive. So yeah, you guys, I'm so excited to take you guys with me this week to try out a new restaurant, one of my favorites here in Mallorca. Very excited to eat some delicious food. And yeah, you guys, I'm just excited to take you guys with me. If you guys enjoy this week's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out videos for you guys every single week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. Also, if you wanna watch more of the Mallorca Food Tours videos, I do have a playlist on my channel under Mallorca Food Tours, and that way you guys can see other restaurants that I've already checked out. That way you guys know where to go when you come to Mallorca. Also, you guys, if you wanna leave me a comment, please do. If you guys have any suggestions for me on what types of videos you wanna see from me in the future, or you just want to ask me a question or ask me anything, feel free to leave me a comment because I will answer them, and I really appreciate them because I really like hearing from you guys. So thank you again for being here. I love you guys all so much. And without further ado, let's go. restaurants in Mallorca. Oh. Kind of like in strange lighting. I might move. Okay, so let me tell you guys a little bit about El Aguanauta, the restaurant. It is a Mexican Californian taqueria with Pacific flair for surfers, lovers of the sea, and other happy people. So I'm getting this right off of their Facebook page. And I feel like that is so my vibe. First of all, I'm from California, so we have the California part down. I'm not a surfer, but I'm a lover of the sea for sure. And I'm a lover of happy people as well. So I think we're gonna start with a margarita. They already brought me a water a really cold water because I walked kind of far to get here and it was very hot outside I didn't really anticipate it being so warm today but it's officially summer in Mallorca you guys and I can really feel it now so I think we need to start off with a little margarita my favorite margarita is the spicy margarita so I'm thinking that's the one I'm gonna pick they have a whole list of drinks they have juices, they have regular soft drinks, they have beer, margaritas of course. They also have a lot of te different tequilas to choose from. They even have mezcal. They also have wine. So a lot of beverage options. The ambiance here is also really, really nice. It's very like Mexican, California flair. So my vibe, like Baja, Tex-Mex love the ambiance here especially like in the evening times like you just get like really nice dim lighting i love the decoration in here the walls are so like nicely decorated the restaurant all of it is so cool so yeah you guys i love coming here i usually come here for like tacos they have really good margaritas and the other time that i came here i got the ceviche and it was so so good so anyways, you guys, I think we're gonna start off with a spicy margarita. I'm also gonna order a ceviche. I have two different ones, but the one that I'm gonna be ordering today is gonna be the Sinaloa, which is sea bass and shrimp ceviche with lime, orange, Peruvian yellow pepper, avocado, mango, cucumber, and fried tortilla chips. Doesn't that sound like incredible, you guys? 
so excited to start off with those two things and then I'm gonna order a taco after. They have a ton of stuff on their menu. They have starters, they have ceviches, they have guacamole, a bunch of different tacos. They even have vegetarian tacos, which I think is really, really cool. Battered avocado with peanuts, matcha sauce, and chipotle mayo. That is like an awesome vegetarian taco. They have fish tacos, meat tacos, and vegetarian tacos. They have tostadas, which I actually haven't had a tostada from them here. They have quesadillas. I actually do think I have had a quesadilla from them, and it was really, really good too. And then they have some desserts as well. So lots of deliciousness going on at this restaurant. So excited to dig into all this delicious food. All right, you guys, I got my spicy margarita. Cheers, you guys. This is my favorite, one of my favorite things in the planet, spicy margarita. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Very spicy, very refreshing, very lemony. You can really taste the tequila. Like it's not like one of those margaritas where you can't taste like the alcohol. I don't know why my camera's not wanting to focus. This margarita is so good. It's like the perfect balance of all the flavors that you want to have in your margarita. I won't have to go right now. Now I want to try the ceviche. Look how delicious this looks. It is jam packed. fish, that sea bass is so mm, delicious, soft, the sauce that they have in the ceviche, it's very lemony, so fresh, you really taste the mango, so good. the fish tastes so fresh, it's so like a thick good piece of fish, the sauce is like sweet from the mango, tangy from the lemon, big chunks of avocado. So you guys, when I first came to Mallorca and I met my boyfriend, one of our first like date nights, we came here. And it has stayed a special spot because A, we basically have one of our big dates here and the food is so good. I must say, when I came to Mallorca, I wasn't really having high hopes for the Mexican food in Mallorca, but with Aquanauta and some others that I've been to, I feel like I have been pleasantly surprised because they're actually very, very good. Mm -mm. The ceviche, 10 out of 10. I feel like I've had different tacos here that I really, really like. I just can't remember which one I've ordered before. So I'm just gonna pick one today that just stands out to me, that sounds good to me. So I think the one that I'm gonna choose is the ranchero. It comes with flank steak, poblano peppers, car caramelized onions, costeño cheese, taditos, and tatemada sauce. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm excited to try it, and that one sounds like really good, so that's what we're gonna be ordering today. But you guys, I can't get over this ceviche. It's so good, packed with flavor, so fresh. The fish is so like thick and juicy. So good. Another thing you guys that I should probably let you guys know is that I feel like these margaritas are quite strong. I'm not even done with my margarita, but I feel it kicking in. Like the effects are definitely kicking in. I just got my taco. I'm gonna put some lemon. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna try this taco. Cheers! Mm. Oh god. So, so good. I don't even know how to describe this taco. All I know is it's packed with flavor. It has chicharrones on it, on top. So much meat in here. So good with the onion, cilantro. That was 10 out of 10. Packed with flavor. So much 
me. I just didn't ever imagine being able to find a good Mexican place or a good taco place in Mallorca. But here, you get that. You get delicious tacos in Mallorca. Just finished my taco. That was like probably the best taco I've ever had in my life. I'm like trying to figure out whether I want to order another taco or if I should stop. But that taco was so good that I'm like, I feel like I need to try another one. Maybe I'm gonna try the Baja California taco. Cause we have to. The Baja California, you guys, comes with crispy beer battered white sea bass with pico de gallo and chipotle mayo. All right, you guys, I got my taco. Putting some lemon on it. I'm gonna put some onion on it. I'm the type of girl, like, the more onion, the better on a taco. The more lemon, the better. Especially this is a fish taco. Look at this. The mayo, so creamy. The fish is so nice and just big. There's like coleslaw in here, which is like nice and crispy. You can't go wrong here, you guys. The tacos are so good. The margarita is delicious. The ceviche is delicious. The ambiance is nice. I'm obsessed. I just feel like the tacos are so full of flavor. The fish tastes so fresh. It's like battered and fried, but it still tastes fresh. Which I feel like that's pretty unique. The mayo is super creamy, a little spicy, but not too spicy. The onions on here I feel like are so good. I always put onions on my tacos, but if you don't usually put onions and you like onions, I would highly recommend putting some onions on here. So good, you guys. Tacos do get messy. tacos I probably would go with the ranchera I think I like that one a little bit more but this one is very very good as well all right you guys so those tacos were both so so good Mar the margarita very very good as well you cannot go wrong with el aguanalta food is so good the ambiance is so good the staff is so so nice and it's one of my favorite places to eat in Palma de Mallorca. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button. I put out videos for you guys every single week. And we will be doing one more Mallorca food tours video next week. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, you guys, I will link El Aguanauta's Instagram if they have one, website if they have one, everything in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Cheers!